God says I'm being kind because I can. If it had something to do with me, I wouldn't get kindness. You ought to thank God that every time he blesses you, he looks at himself. Y'all missed it. If he's looking at you and me, we wouldn't get nothing. But he says, I look past myself. Y'all, y'all look past you when I look at myself. I swore by myself. That's what God's saying. Wait, if y'all get Check this bag out. Zonia Bird. Nice little bag. This is a cute one too. Calvin Klein. This Monica. Little thing put. I mean just short. Stay sharp. Y'all wonder where I get it from. These with here. Fashion. This is real cute though. I like this. What they call these bucket bags. Right, look at that. This is cute. I gotta borrow this. My baby. The teas? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Oh, baby, she is doing her thing. I love it. It's the bedroom slippers for me. And she drew everything. It's the bedroom slippers for me. Oh, she's everywhere. I love it. I love it. I love it. Her art is all over the store, as you can see. This is my family. I love it. I love it. I love it. My great grandmothers, sisters, children, daughter is the artist of all of these pieces. Family doing their thing. Black owned. It's all of her art is all back there. I love it. All this black artistry in here, shoes, handbags, tops, and a four tubo. Let's just make it. Okay, divas and gents, so I'm just going to pause right here for a quick second just to explain what is going on. So at this point, the following day, I had a cute little powwow with a close friend of mine. The only thing is, he's very skittish about the camera. I don't know why, but he is. So we had a seafood night over his house and you guys would have ate it up because we laughed and kikied about so much shit that I just, I just know y'all would have enjoyed. But at the end of the day, I had to be respectful because it was his home. But we're going to zoom into the next clip where it's still a lot of eating. Why black people enjoy eating and kikiing? I do not know, but child, child, a reset is to come because my birthday is about to come up. So, you know, I'm going to have to get this way back semi snatch Too sexy 
for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap, too sexy for that jack, yeah, yeah. Okay, alright, that's fine. Okay, okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected. And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Okay, alright, that's fine. Okay, think we got too sexy for that Metro house. Diamond popped out, I'm gonna swallow 60,000. Hey, divas, hey, gents. So, I am back with a another video as y'all can see period point blank it's always something it is always something and i've realized that but uh, i guess you gotta crawl over some hurdles before you get to whatever it is that you're supposed to be getting to so what y'all last seen was me at the nail salon. I went to get my feet done. I try to save some money and scale back a little bit. But one thing I do like to do, I do love to maintenance my feet. I do not think it's cute for a woman to have like a whole bunch of collars on the bottom of her feet. You know, polish be all chipped on crazy. And then I'm the type of girl when I run errands, sometimes I like to put on like one of those little fuzzy sandals or something like that. My latest obsession. But however, I was in the nest line. I was starting to feel a little crazy in terms of nasal, super congested. I really couldn't figure out what the handle was or what was going on. So I said, oh my God, let me get home and take one of these damn COVID tests. I got COVID. I took one of these home tests. I ripped at the box a little bit, but pretty much it came up positive. So in the morning, um, I do want to try to get a hold of a clinic or a doctor or something like that because I know they don't rapidly test as much as they used to, at least not to my knowledge. Like you have to set up some type of appointment just so they can know that you're coming in to try to space you away from everybody. That's what they did a couple weeks ago when I got tested and they diagnosed me with strep throat. So, um, Honestly, with the colds, back to back, it's a lot. It's it's a super lot. So, um, I did minus a clip. We were supposed to have a game night, and this this story kind of makes a lot of sense. We were supposed to have a game night with my family, and it was just family and close friends. And however, it was gonna be at my grandmother's. So. When we went out, the clips that you seen with like my aunt, my mom in the car and stuff like that, we were on our way to see my cousin that was in the hospital, also on our way to the mall to see my other cousin because she started putting her pieces inside of a boutique in the mall. So when we went to do all of that, nobody knew the whole time my great aunt has COVID. So <laughs> she basically gets home that night and the next day she had an accident where she fell. So I guess whenever she fell, um, they took her to the emergency and this all happened within the past like 48 hours, maybe 72 at the max. So whenever she had fell, what happened was they took her to the emergency and she basically hurt her wrist. A big thing however they tested her just because you know just to see because they said she was a little disoriented and she tested positive for covid at the time everybody's like all scared like oh you know people in the family that was around her especially us like oh let's get tested let's get tested I kind of pushed it off like, oh, it's not a biggie. And especially if you was just around somebody, there's no way you're going to find out that day. You know, you was only around that person for a little bit that you got COVID. You got to give it at least a day or two or three or four. So we're around approaching the third day. And I'm like, okay, this little tickle in my throat is starting to be a bit much. This little coughing bit is starting to be a bit much. Lo and behold, I have COVID. So right now, a lot of people are saying drink um a lot of tea, slices of oranges, ginger, lemons, and all of that. So 
I've had COVID before, so I do remember some of the remedies, but I've never been in this situation where I've had a, a cold before, a strep throat before. Now I have COVID, and this is literally my second time having COVID. This is the scariest thing on the face of the earth. So that's what's going on right now. Excuse me, because, <laughs> excuse me because I literally don't have any little napkins, which I used to do that all the time, little cute boxes of tissues or whatever. So if y'all don't remember, I told y'all that I went over my friend's house and we had like a little crab feast basically. However, he kept saying like, you don't sound right, you sound nasal, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just, I'm really pushing it all off on the cold that I just had, like the sharp throat that I just had. So I'm like, child, I just got over sharp throat. It's nothing. It's been well over two weeks. I'm good. He's like, girl, okay. <laughs> so when I told him, child, would you believe this shit? I got COVID. He was like, I told you, you just don't sound right. So some people can hear, you know, can see little symptoms before you do, I guess, because they're on the outside looking all the time. And if you're wondering why my lips look so juicy, I'm back on my cocoa butter bit. So if you don't know, this is safe for a moisturizer. You rub it on your hands, make it warm, rub it in. And I also rub it across my lips for a chapstick type of vibe. This one had the lips, child, baby. <laughs> super soft super super soft so sometimes you don't have to tap into all the expensive stuff at the end of the day child i think this was like a dollar or two but let's get into the real product i've been hearing such a good review on this product and i used to use this when i was a kid my mother used to use it on my hair and my hair you know how girls say oh i had so much hair and things like that they were like oh i had so much hair i had so much hair no a real rap i had so much hair and it was so thick that my mother like really would say crazy things about taming it like oh my god i can't deal oh my god it's so tangly i would cry cry all the time while i get my hair washed today she says that she was just complaining but she actually loved the fact that my hair was so thick and so full and so long child i have since then ruined my hair and i'm trying to bring it back to normal so this is the hair grease that i purchased so get into it so i'm starting the lock method now the lock method is supposed to be some type of liquid oil and cream well i'm sorry the lock method is supposed to be leave-in oil and cream. So instead of the oil, I'm using a grease. Reason being is because when I use oil on my hair, it leaves like this almost dandruff type of buildup. And I'm like, what is that? Because I don't even have a, a problem with dandruff. But there is a buildup that that oil leaves on my hair. It's just sitting on top of my pores. And I guess from the climate or whatever, it gets cold and it just dries up. And it's like crust patches in my hair. So I'm like, oil may not be the thing for me. And coming up, I never had an oil situation. My mother used to always put this in my hair. And my hair was like amazing. <laughs> but anyway, so... With this Indian hip, pretty much um, it has all these little bits inside and it's just all these fun ingredients to basically put in your hair and your hair will love it. This is for 4C girls. I really don't know how this will play on relaxed hair. I don't know how this will play on, you know, women with a, a looser texture. I really don't know. I'm basing this on me. So, this is the oil grease version of the LOC method. So, also, I purchased as I am. So, I have the shampoo and I have the leave-in. Now, the shampoo is in my shower. But this is the leave-in. And the leave-in is really good because, like I said, my hair, although it dries out so fast eats up oil my hair eats up oil for some reason so the fact that this is a leave-in and it's creamy i love it 
still, what has me in the craziest of chokeholds is Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope leave-in conditioner. She has one that is a detangler and also a leave-in. Pretty much they both play as the same to me. So when it comes to the LOC, this is the leave-in and this is the oil grease base. Following that, you have to have a cream. The cream that I'm using is the As I Am. So the As I Am is pretty much the line that I've been using for my shampoo and conditioner. These products aren't the cheapest. I, I am going to put that out there. So, however, for the method that I am using, I'm using the leave-in, the oil, and the cream. When I say my hair feels so moisturized, I pretty much section my hair off. I'm greasing my scalp with this. I already fully saturated my hair with the leave-in. Now, you can use the milkshake leave-in. Let me put this down. You can use the milkshake leave-in or you can use the As I Am. The As I Am is beautiful. It literally says on the side of the bottle that it's for 3 and 4C hair. It literally says that. I never picked up a product ever in life that literally says it's for 4C hair. I'm just saying, like, I've used some of their products in the past and it literally has yet to disappoint. Like it really shows up and show out. So this is my shampoo and conditioner. Both have tea tree oil in it and they have some other little medicinal products and things of that nature. But um, as far as oils and stuff like that, but the tea tree oil is a really, really good. And this is just an extra. So pretty much when I detangle my hair, when I want to pull my comb through with ease, I'm using this. So I don't have to necessarily always wash my hair when I'm using milkshake. And that's how it's always been in the past. But this is just pretty much a leave-in. So they both are the same. So both of them are pretty much in my hair. So at the end of the day, your hair is wet, fresh out of the shower, fresh from shampoo or whatever. You put in your favorite leave-in and then you're sectioning off the hair. You're greasing the scalp. You're making sure that it's like rubbed in. You're not leaving it like in clumps on your hair. And you're just like sectioning it off, greasing, massaging, going on to the next, you know what I mean? And then the actual strands of your hair, you're rubbing this beautiful double butter cream. Listen, I'm not a beautician, none of that. I'm just telling you what works for me. And if you want to get the ultimate moisture and also if you want to feel thickness in your hair, this is the best products on the face of the earth. And I struggle, baby. Like when I say I struggle, I struggle. And at the end of the day, when you put this on your scalp and you finally rub the strands of your hair down all the way to the tips with this double butter cream. Braid your hair down, your normal braids when you do under your weaves, your units, whatever. Have you in a chokehold. So this is just a process of me growing my hair back. It's in a 2 Y stage right now and it's really, really thick, really, really lustrous. And these are the products that I'm gonna use to create a mega growth period i said to myself i don't want to touch on any topic that was negative because i just gotta stay focused but i am gonna put this out there public service announcement god is working on me like in terms of not saying that i'm i'm a um a wild benji you know out here just thugging i'm not saying that what i'm saying is um, I'm, I, I'm not the girl that, that get it popping, but I'm definitely the girl that will finish it. But I'm trying to walk away from certain things and not always clap at stuff. But some of the stuff that y'all say, whether it's subliminal, whether it's low key or high key, whether you're trying to, uh, refocus it and make it seem like you're talking about yourself and stuff like that. I peep everything. I watch all of the girls. I support all of the girls. I truly 
after seeing some things, I realized that even some of the people that y'all kick it with and some of the people that y'all engage with, I really start to realize that even some of the people that y'all kick it with and some of the people that I see that y'all engage with, y'all are not necessarily watching them 100%. I don't know if it's because you're too busy creating your own content, but as far as a busy body and creating a mega content, I don't think there's nobody that create really more content than me right this second. And I'm just saying, now I'm not doing Vlogtober. I'm not talking about all that type of shit. I'm talking about in terms of I come from IG with my content and I also have a business. So there's a lot of content that y'all don't see that I'm creating for just my business alone. You know what I mean? Picture taking, glamour stuff, events, you know, networking, connecting. I got girls that I can, we can get together and make a whole popping thing happen. Like, you get what I'm saying? That's the type of shit that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about just YouTube. But I see a lot of people say, like, little negative things about new YouTubers. And some of the things that I happen to hear is, um, I'm just going to throw it out there, um, just one or two things. They say things about people that vlog on their camera. And I always feel like people start somewhere. I don't believe that these girls that vlogged or did stuff once upon a time solely worked with just a camera. If you did, okay, congratulations. But some people really had to navigate and become savvy with the basics before they could just jump onto this day to third. I can't imagine me getting a camera and working off of a computer or like some type of notebook or something like that or MacBook and... I would be like kind of lost. I think the best way is to start, you know, with your phone and things of that nature. At the end of the day, it's content. At the end of the day, you're projecting yourself as a business. But when when you have somebody like myself and like others, they have other talents and other backings, they can't always wholeheartedly invest in all that you may have going on. Stop comparing yourself to someone and you don't really know them. You don't know their background. You don't know what their starting point is. You don't know their hardships. You don't know where they came from. That's my whole thing with the, with the whole situation. I, I hear a lot of things and you're talking from here, but you're thinking that the person is down here when mindset wise and a millionaire mindset wise, they, they may have, they may very well surpass the, the type of the way that you think you know what I mean and I'm not trying to throw anybody off but like I said I hear a lot of negative things it's like literally right after I post something or a video or something I'm thinking that these people don't even watch me like that's what I strongly be thinking and then some of the things that they say I'm like damn this cannot really be coincidence like this is strange and then if they they just hit it like bam I'm like well dang like you might as well just call me out. Like, and I'm not saying just call me out. I'm so much that type of girl that I've, I've been, I, I, first off, I have a degree, you know, number one. Number two, I've sat in front of panels of people with my pieces, things that I consider my babies, you know, my, my, uh, just my overall work. And I've sat in front of people and watched them demolish me. And it can be perfection. It can be A plus work. But I've watched them demolish me and, and listen to them say things negatively about me. So at the end of the day, they do that on purpose because because they want to build you up for the real world because not all the time will you be pleased with some of the things that people have to to say period with that being said if it's something excuse me if it's something that you have a problem with or more so you want to critique and you actually mean well for me i'd rather you reach out to me like i know it's easy for you to drop into somebody's emails you know drop into my dms you could just say oh your style of this could be better if you tried this or you tweet this or you did this or you did that not go on your own platform and i'm really necessarily at this point i'm your 
fan. I'm admiring what you have going on. And I'm actually looking up to you in terms of you're working in a field that I'm trying to perfect. You know what I mean? Not saying that my background isn't Gucci just because you're in a field that I'm trying to project. No, I'm coming from one field to another. You know what I mean? This is, this is what's going on. I'm coming from one field to another. So... I just need y'all to get it together because I feel like the better we uplift each other, the better it won't be an issue. Like, you know what I mean? And you just don't know the benefit that you could benefit from if you work more politely, if you're not so catty with it. Because it gets corny after a while because it's like, I know for sure, watch hour wise, I put a lot of watch hours into other people. Just watching them, just congratulating them. I'm in their comments like, damn, you on that trip. Oh, you look beautiful. Or, oh my God, congratulations on your milestones and things of that nature. And for someone to make comments that's directed to my content, but they're acting like they don't watch my content, that's where it gets weird because it's like, you're not liking, you're not sharing, you're not commenting, you're not doing anything but talking. So that's where I'm like, okay, <laughs> do not try me, period. So with that being said, I just wanted to put that out there because I've been hearing things. And nobody is perfect. And even talking to my friend, when we was kikiing with the seafood thing, he was like, you got Kaya and um, T.S. Madison. I pray I'm saying that right because I was thinking something completely different. You have Kaya and T.S. Madison who started off just kicking at a regular table, like a couple drinks or laughing, doing doing regular shit. But then when they started investing in lights and cameras and backgrounds and all of this, they said their watch hours just started to go down. So it's not all about the perfection of it all. And that's what I really want y'all to step off of because <laughs> when y'all keep worrying about that, you drowning yourself out with the nonsense because as far as production, I have done productions, you know, I have invested in events that you guys would attend and be like, oh my God, wow, wow, wow. No, I've been there, done that. Like you have to really do your history before you start trying to dig and jab. Like I'm really that girl. Like I'm, I'm a Philly girl, but I'm that girl. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm the girl when you come to Philly and you say, oh, do you know of this girl? They're going to say, oh, yes, I know of this girl. You know what I mean? Or I, I've heard of that girl or I, I've seen her. I've seen her work, something like that. It's definitely, it's definitely not a competition. I'm, I would, you would never, rare, you would rarely hear me throw out names and throw out you know, situations and events because it's not really that big of a deal to me. But like I said, I just feel like I don't have time to be trying to figure people out. And I think the safe place that they use is when they don't say names and they don't be exact. But I'm a Scorpio, so I can read into what y'all got going on. And if it's corny to me, what y'all doing, I'm going to let y'all know it's corny. Stop. Stop. Because what you're doing is you're pushing you're pushing away the person that's actually rooting for you. Period. So what I'm about to do is I already have my tea um, made already. It's actually probably cooling down because I've stopped it. Um, but yeah, I have orange slices in there, ginger lemon so i'm about to try to drink that because after a while that stuff is like ugh, you sick of drinking it but about to drink it and lay down and finish editing and post and mind my business so i love y'all and i really hope y'all enjoyed this video this video was kind of like a little all over the place but let's just take into the account that Loki, I was sick and I really didn't even know it. So part of me like feeling uh, and uh, <laughs> I see why, like, you know what I mean? So 
let me just go ahead and I'll post something later. I don't know what, but I'll post something later. Oh, and I ain't even get I ain't even get to say how I got my car back. The belching and stuff, excuse me. I ain't even get to say that I got my car back. I got my car big, so that's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> if y'all was watching the last, if y'all was watching the last couple vlogs, y'all will remember when I said that the mechanic was super cute, but super short. So I was driving and I'm like, dang, I done ad adjusted this mirror a thousand times. I'm like, why is it sitting so low? Like my side mirrors was sitting low. The top mirror was sitting low. So I don't know if they had to ride it to like test it out or what. But I was like, uh, nah, like something ain't right. But I, I was like, damn, shorty was in my car. <laughs> but yeah, so let me let y'all go. I love y'all. Um. Don't think just because I talk to y'all and I put a little bass on my voice that that is love lost. It's never no love lost. Like, first off, majority of y'all is black women and men that watch me, love me, um, and vice versa. I watch y'all. I love y'all. So, I probably never put it out there. I probably did. I, I might be repeating myself. But it was a time where I, first off, I've been on my own since I was 19. On top of that, I finally graduated college just, what, probably four or five years ago. So it's always a, a it's kind of like a late start to things. But in terms of like YouTube and stuff like that, for a while, I ain't even had cable. For a while, I did not have cable. I didn't see the sense of it. I didn't think about it. And I, I darn sure didn't have a fire stick because even having cable, you ain't had YouTube on your TV. But I was on my phone with it, finding entertainment, little things to watch. So some of y'all is really like my saving grace when it comes to some situations because just the stress of life and being up all night and can't sleep. I used to watch y'all just low-key just while, while I'm on my phone looking for jobs or trying to figure out a way. So, listen, y'all y'all not, y'all don't see it, y'all don't feel it, but y'all are really like family to me. Like, it may not seem like it, it may be just virtual, and that's fine, but I watched y'all progress, and I felt like for a while I didn't know how I could show the world what was going on. I was so stuck in one lane with social media, IG, Facebook, but I really couldn't figure out how I could surpass just the following that I had. So in saying that, y'all taught me some things, but I'm going to teach y'all, y'all need to be humble, you know, just like sometimes I need to be humble. You know, I'm used to you know, I, I'm used to being the only pretty girl I see. You know, the only pretty big girl that I see. I'm used to that. So, when I see a whole bunch of other girls doing it, it's, it's, I, I'm, I'm so confident that it doesn't bother me, but I can see where another person can be in that position there and they're a plus size girl and they're a beautiful girl and they're a brown girl. And maybe it took them some time to get to the level of confidence that they have. And then you finally see someone else do it. I understand it may get a little scary, but never in a million years that I think that it, it would have been worth just constantly catching like little jabs. So. I'm going to say what I got to say, but y'all can piece it together how y'all need to. But anyway, anyway, it's almost Scorpio season, so move out the way. <laughs> I'm in the room, and I got my bitches with me, and we all need space. <laughs> so if y'all are Scorpio, get with it, because baby, if you ain't never seen sexy, sexy before, baby, I'm going to show y'all what is all uh, about <laughs> so be prepared for that concept period so how the girls do it period period <laughs> period <laughs> I can't even laugh with, without thinking that my damn throat is about to just fall out but oh
before I go, I, I told y'all about to edit and watch TV, but Emily in Paris on Netflix, something good to watch, is definitely youthful, definitely fashion, definitely girly. Check it out. Emily in Paris. So I love y'all. Peace. And until next time. <laughs>